Welcome my fellow captains to Navgeek Aviation. Now guys, Air New Zealand have been going through a phase of modernization for quite a while now. All the way from fitting a new cabin to adding more planes into their fleet and slowly but surely adding Wi-Fi on all of their planes. Well, the next milestone that the airline will achieve is welcoming their first A321neo that will enter into service in mid-November. Now, the planes were originally planned to arrive by the summer, so around June, July, August time. But due to the engine issues with Pratt & Whitney, the planes were unfortunately delayed. Then by the decision of the airline, they decided to postpone the delivery yet again so that they can receive the new Airbus Cabin Flex layout, which is essentially designed to increase the number of seats by redesigning the cabin layout and changing the emergency exits. So, the airline has 6 A320neos on order and 14 A321neos. And the first planes that will arrive will be configured for international short haul routes to Australia and the South Pacific for example. And these planes will seat around 214 passengers in a single class configuration. Now these planes will be replacing all of their current 30 A320s that they have in their fleets and the airline will move three of their planes from their short haul fleet allowing these planes to be transferred across to their domestic operations. Then these planes will be replaced by the A321neo aircraft on domestic routes by 2020 in order to improve the peak time capacity on some of their domestic main trunk routes. Now the airline is intending to use the A321neo as a testbed for their Wi-Fi deployment and due to the late scheduled arrival of the planes, it's now being tested on their Boeing 777-400ER. Now, all of their A321neo aircraft will be fitted with Wi-Fi. However, Travel Talk, which is one of their suppliers, is saying that Air New Zealand is still to make a final decision as to whether they'll use Wi-Fi on all of their domestic planes. Now, the first A321neo planes will enter commercial service in mid-November, while the first A320neo planes is scheduled to debut in February next year and the remaining aircraft will join their fleet throughout 2019 with their domestic A321neo planes expected to be delivered between 2020 and 2024. So all in all this is great news for the airline, it just goes to show how popular the A320neo family actually is and it's quite surprising how they didn't go for the 737 MAX 8 because there was a lot of hype when they were thinking of placing their orders that they would actually go for the MAX but at the end of the day the airline knows best. Now captains, if you've ever flown with the airline, then let us know what your experience was like and how you think the NEOs will benefit the airline. If you enjoyed the video guys, then consider subscribing and liking and I hope to see you in the next one.